everyone, Paying the Piper here. Uh, doing things a little different this time on account of the fact that this is grinding up for eggs and generally tends to be rather boring. So I will be doing a few jump cuts here. First I want to show you exactly how long it takes to get at least one egg. Although I think during the recording of this my patience kind of gave out and I quit early before I actually had an egg, but at any rate, uh, this is an intermission piece between episodes 2 and 3. I did check on YouTube this morning to see if anyone had commented. They had not. And me being a silly person wondered, why has no one commented? And then I realized you can't find my video using the search function, so I'm going to try and make that a little easier. Change some of the tools, some of the search variables, what have you. Uh, at any rate. I am currently located at Oil 1. Well, in this recording I'm located at Oil 1. And I am grinding away on where Garurumon to get Gabumon eggs. Now, the trick with this is that I'm using Blue in his ultimate level of Mach Gaumon. Blue is a data type, therefore he's got the edge against where Garurumon. And he also has his lovely Howling Cannon, which does nice damage for not that much DS. Uh, the trick with Gabumon eggs is they tend to crack a lot, so you want to get a ton of them. The goal was to get five. I actually had to settle on getting three because I ran out of juice near the end. I'll talk about it when we get there. Uh, scheduling so far as video releases are concerned is kind of up in the air right now. You may have noticed that I'm trying to get as many of these videos recorded at once as I can. There's a reason for this. Skyward Sword is coming out near the middle of November, November 20th. I have mine pre-reserved and I know Skyward Sword is gonna eat me like crazy. So I'm trying to get these videos, as many of them done as possible, and to stagger their releases. I will be doing intermissions when GDMO, technically Joymax, goes and launches a nice brand spanking new update that's of critical importance. But as you can see, if you're egg hunting, you got to have a lot of items because it's going to take a while. And you got to be willing to spend some time because it does take a while. Now, they really did up the drop rate for eggs because it used to take me three days grinding three hours a day just to get one egg. In this video I managed to get three. Again, it would have been nice if I gotten my goal of five, but was not to be. Uh, so doing as much recording of these as I can before Skyward Sword comes out. You know, I don't really have much to say about grinding on this. Um, I tend to aim more for the leader types because I think they have a better chance of dropping stuff, but I can't confirm or deny that because I got one egg from a regular Wagarurumon. The trick is going to be having your Digi in the same level range as the guys you're fighting. That will keep the drop rate pretty good on your side. And, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to talk about with this video. Uh, video releases will be semi-sporadic, about two every week or so, possibly. And that might ease up once I've got Skyward Sword out of my system. And if you want me to talk about Skyward Sword when I get it, drop me a note. Again... I'm still taking submissions for who May Lee's partner is going to be. Uh, remember, she's got two slots and one archive slot available. Right now, I'm aiming to get her a Kunamon and an Alekmon. And. Yeah. Not a whole lot to say about it. So, at any particular rate, I will go ahead and leave you to watch me grind. And grind. And grind. 
Uh, thank you to anyone who's made a comment that I haven't seen yet, and I will see you guys over in episode 2, 3, 4, or whatever episode you happen to catch next. So, please enjoy the remainder of this intermission. Thank <laughs> you. 